Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering ST300 Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Your on-premises network contains an active directory domain that uses Azure AD Connect to sync with an Azure AD TNAN. You need to configure Azure AD Connect to meet the following requirements. User sign in to Azure AD must be authenticated by an active directory domain controller. Active directory domain users must be able to use Azure AD self service password reset. What should you use for each requirement? Let's go through the answer area. The correct answer is authentication by the domain controller is pass through authentication and SSPR is password write back. Now moving to next question. You configure a new Microsoft 365 tenant to use a default domain name of Contoso.com. You need to ensure that you can control access to Microsoft 365 resources by using conditional access policies. What should you do first? Option A. Disable the user constant settings. Option B. Disable security defaults. Option C. Configure a multi-factor authentication registration policy. And option D, configure password protection for Windows Server Active Directory. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, you have an Azure Active Directory tenant named Contoso.com. All users who run applications registered in Azure AD are subject to conditional access policies. You need to prevent the users from using legacy authentication. What should you include in the conditional access policies to filter out legacy authentication attempts? Option A, a cloud apps or action condition. Option B, a user risk condition. Option C, a client apps condition. And option D, a sign in risk condition. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, you have a Microsoft 365 tenant. All users have computers that run Windows 10. Most computers are company owned and joined to Azure Active Directory. Some computers are user owned and are only registered in Azure AD. You need to prevent users who connect to Microsoft SharePoint online on their user-owned computer from downloading or syncing files. Other users must not be restricted. Which policy type should you create? Option A, a Microsoft Cloud App Security Activity Policy that has Microsoft Office 365 governance. Actions configured. Option B, an Azure AD conditional access policy that has session controls configured. Option C, an Azure AD conditional access policy that has client app conditions configured. And option D, a Microsoft Cloud App Security App discovery policy that has governance actions configured. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, you have an active directory domain that syncs to an Azure active directory tenant. The on-premises network contains a VPN server that authenticates to the on-premises active directory domain. The VPN server does not support Azure multi-factor authentication. You need to recommend a solution to provide Azure MFA for VPN connections. What should you include in the recommendation? Option A, Azure AD application proxy. Option B, and as your AD password protection proxy. Option C, network policy server. And option D, a pass through authentication proxy. The correct answer is option C. 
next question is you have a microsoft 365 e5 tenant you purchase a cloud app named app1 you need to enable real time session level monitoring for app1 by using microsoft cloud app security in which order should you perform the actions let's go through the actions and answer area the correct answer is now moving to the next question you have a microsoft 365 tenant all users have mobile phones and laptops the users frequently work from remote locations that do not have wi-fi access or mobile phone connectivity while working from the remote locations the users can the users connect their laptop to a wired network that has internet access you plan to implement multi factor authentication which mfa authentication method can the users use from the remote location option a a notification through the microsoft authenticator app option b an app password option c windows hello for business and option d sms the correct answer is option c